All right, hamstring curls, reach and pull, 25 seconds. Here we go. Okay, so I was walking the dog just now and I stepped off a curb and almost rolled my ankle. You know how you kind of roll your ankle, just a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, that could have been bad. And then like 30 seconds later, I dropped my phone and I was like, okay, I'm a hot mess right now. Let's turn around and go back. <laughs> Elbow to knee crisscross. I don't know what my deal was, but I was very clumsy all of a sudden. <laughs> When we moved to Los Angeles, we had been here three days, didn't have a place to live, and I slashed my leg open. And it was like, <laughs> I just cried and cried because it was a horrible way to start. And so today I thought about that. I'm like, no, 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 I'm here for a month. I don't need to have a hinge and swing. I don't need to be limping around <laughs> with a swollen ankle. <laughs> Could you be pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank goodness. <laughs> Unless it's a medical miracle. <laughs> Maybe it's just age. <laughs> Front kicks. Because I didn't even feel like distracting. You know, sometimes you know, you're like, okay, calm down. I'm distracted. I'm doing a million things. It wasn't. I was just like walking and <laughs> having a nice walk. No reason for it. All right, we're going to squat side bend next on the beep. Here it comes. All right, squat down, up side bend. Baby squats to start a little bit lower once you feel loosened up. Big long reach on that side bend. After this, we're going to do step back, arms overhead to loosen up the hip flexors. All right, there's your beep. So small lunge, gently pushing the heel toward the floor. Next move on the beep will be jogging. You can jog in place or jog around your room. There's our beep, jog in place. Keep it low, so be light on your feet, a little bit lifted. You can move around in your space if you have room. Side skips will be next. I'll count you down for that so you can get it set. Ooh, comes up fast for three, two, side skips. Again, get a little bit of lift. Use those arms. Modified jumping jacks on the beep. Regular jumping jacks if you can. Three, two, one. There we go. Modified jacks. Throw in some regular ones if you're up for it. Nice and lifted, light on your feet. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, change that to alternating hip circles. All right, heavy breathing. It's working. Four, three, two, and one. All right, three times, reaching up for the ceiling, forward bend. Roll it up, do it again. And one more time, definitely feel like I need this today. Forward bend, stay down. Rest your hands on your legs if you need the help, but I want you to tip your tailbone up toward the sky and tip your hip bones in the front a little closer to your thighs. That'll deepen the stretch. Hang out here. And 
One more deep breath. And bend your knees, roll yourself up. Okay, because it is the last week of this cycle, we're turning the workout into a giant um, circuit and some moves will change slightly from what we've been doing. First move, you're going to need your heavier dumbbell to do that squat hinge squat combination. I'm gonna preview everything here for you real quick. All right, squat hinge squat, then push up to down dog. That can be on an incline or you can be on the floor on knees or toes. Then we're going to change the lunge. We're gonna do alternating reverse lunges with a shoulder raise. So you'll need your two lighter dumbbells for that one. Then we'll do agility and then we'll do a balance move, okay? So squat, hinge, squat. I'm gonna try it with my light dumbbell to demonstrate. Hold that at your chest, squat down, push yourself into a hinge where you're looking at the floor, back is flat. Sit back into that squat, stand up core count move down, push into the hinge. You don't lock your knees in that point though. Mostly straight, but not fully straight. And then push up to down dog. I think we all know what that one looks like. Okay, the lunge variation. You're going to do alternating reverse lunges, lunge back, hold the lunge, shoulder raise. Okay, so you'll alternate legs, bring that to horizontal or just pass, palms facing forward. If you want a little extra, you can bring it all the way overhead. If that bothers your shoulders or your neck, you don't have to go all the way overhead. The agility cardio today is fast feet. Going back to the beginning, fast feet. I will say forward, back, right, left. You go there, come right back, okay? Go back, I'll cue it. And then the balance exercise is with a light dumbbell. And I'll remind you in the break what comes next. What you're going to do is it's gonna be in one hand. You're gonna float up into a star balance pass the weight to the other hand and then step down and then do the other side. Float up, pass the weight. Okay. And your heart rate will be up at that point because we're doing agility right before it. So that'll add a little something to the balance. Okay. One minute on, 30 seconds off. A little longer interval, a little longer rest. Squat, hinge, squat is first with your heavier weight. So grab that. So I have 30 seconds to cue on what comes next in the break. All right, that heavy dumbbell, keep it really close to your chest. Don't let it float away from your body because it makes everything a little harder and a little riskier. One minute, three, two, one, here we go. Squat down, push into the hinge, squat back down and stand. Now, feet hip distance apart, a little bit more. Toes can be turned outward just a bit. Make sure it feels okay on your knees and your hips. Everyone has a little bit different stance that feels best for them. Take your time on this one. Try to sit nice and low into that squat. Abs need to be engaged, especially when you push into that hinge and don't lock those knees. Your back stays mostly in the same position. You're trying not to arch around. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get a good sweat today. <laughs> There's your beep, nice and easy out. Push up to down dog is next. Nice. Push up to down dog. So you can do your push up on knees and then tuck your toes under and press back into down dog. Even if you're on the incline, it's fine. You have another 12 seconds to get ready. Get more in the camera. All right, get set up. Going in four, three, two, one, go. One push, press into down dog. So if you're on incline, you still hinge at the hips. Bring your head down between your arms. Stick your tail in the air. You can't do that. That's one minute. You're halfway.
20 seconds to go. Tight core for a strong push up. Try to keep your body in one piece when you push. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, okay. We're awake now. Grab your light dumbbells. Light or medium. Alternating reverse lunges, shoulder raise. So step into the lunge, get steady. Palms face forward, thumbs up. Lift it out to the side or lift it all the way overhead. Kind of depends on how heavy your weights are. Keep it coming up. Stand tall, here we go. Step back, get set, shoulder raise. Push down in that front heel to stand out of it. My weights are a little light for this. <laughs> so I'm like raised horizontal and my arms just float up because it's a little too easy. So that overhead version is an option. It also keeps you in that lunge just a little bit longer. Back knee can be straight or bent. We all sort of have a natural lunging. Sometimes I do a bend. Today I'm doing straight for some reason. It's just happening. <laughs> We're going three rounds, by the way. And I'm sure you know that, but end up being 15 minutes straight. Rest. Oh. Agility is next. I will cue. You will be fast doing fast feet in the center. Make sure you got space, nothing to trip on. Ease into it. On set one. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Deep breaths. Eight seconds, then we go. Four, three, two, fast feet. Abs pulled in a little bit. Really, really fast, really, really fast. Go left. And come right back, go forward. Go right. Go back. Go back. Go left. Go left. Go forward, go back, go forward, go right, go left. <laughs> My carpet moved, scary. Go forward, rest, grab one light dumbbell, heart rate up for the next move. I feel like we've probably done a variation of this before where we just stayed up and passed the weight, passed the weight, passed the weight. You'll shift feet each time. So float up, doesn't matter which arm the dumbbell starts in. Pass it to the other hand and then switch. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Four, three, two, here we go. Float up, pass the weight to the other arm and down, other side. Not going for speed, going for stability. Focus. I am passing the weight in front of me with straight arms. So what you're doing is making, you're shifting your center of gravity. Right when you find it, that weight changes it a little. So you have to adapt. Nice and tall. These are the kind of moves that are supposed to keep me from stumbling off of a curb. <laughs> it was a teeny tiny curb. I feel like that was part of it. It's like, I just couldn't see it. <laughs> Didn't look like a curb. Ooh, almost done. All right, medial glutes, outer thigh. Grab your heavy weight for the squat, hinge squat, take it from the top. 
So these circuits get a little harder when we just go, 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 but then cardio is built in and we just go to the floor. So it takes the bulk of the workout. Get that dumbbell really close to your chest, get set up. I'm like, good set. There's the beat. Lower into the squat, push into a hinge, back into the squat, and stand. This kind of exercise can work well if you've got um, plates for like a barbell, because you can hog a big plate to your chest. <laughs> it's a little tempting to let that dumbbell float away from your body, but try not to do that. Set two, best set, try to sit nice and low in that squat. <sighs> I did some squats yesterday and I'm feeling those right now. <laughs> Almost done. There is your beep. Nice and easy. Set that weight down. Get set up for push up down dog. <clears throat> 15 more seconds to breathe. Walk around. All right. In eight seconds we go. Get set up. Three, two, one, go. If you're halfway between two variations, like you can do a couple on your toes, but not a whole full set, do what you can, then switch to the easier variation. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Eight seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Whew. Reverse lunges, lateral raises is next. All right, this is the point where I'm happy that I grabbed the lighter weights than I should have. <laughs> Push ups are hard. Five seconds, four. Three, two, go. Lunge back, get set. Raise them to horizontal or all the way overhead if you can. Adding weight also makes you a little heavier. So there's more weight to push up out of the lunge. But in some ways it also grounds you and can make it a little easier to keep your balance they pull you down <laughs> and if you're set and your alignment is okay that might help when we do this variation of lunge and we have to keep our torso somewhat upright so we can do the shoulder raise it's going to hit hamstrings and glutes back of the leg a little bit more Rest. What's next? Agility. Same thing. Fast feet. And then I say forward, back, left, right. Go there, come right back to the middle. 10 more seconds to breathe. Take some slow, deep breaths. Three, two, one. Fast feet. Pull your abs in, go, 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 nice and fast. Go back. Go left. Go 
go back. Go forward. Go right. Remember, you can cross your leg in front. You can side skip. However you get over there is fine. Go right. Faster, faster, faster. Go forward. Go right. Go left. Go back. Go left. Go forward. There's your oh. beep. Nice rest. Balance is next. You need a lightweight. I moved this rug so it'd be less slippery. <laughs> and then all, I, all you reveal underneath is like dust, which is equally slippery. <laughs> okay, lightweight. Ooh. Ooh, there's our beep. Float up. Find your balance. Pass the weight to the other hand. And down. If you want, I'm kind of moving around facing a different direction each time I float up. You don't have to. Adds a little extra. I am feeling my thighs and glutes right now. Whoa, there's work in that wobble. Almost done. Uh. Rest. Got three. Quick drink if you need it. Got three. Grab your heavy weight. Squat, hinge, squat. Coming up next. You can do this without weight or a lighter dumbbell if it felt risky at all on your back or anything like that. A little late for me to tell you that. Here we go. Squat down. Push into the hinge, squat down, press up. Now, if you feel like you know this move okay and you do it safely, try to go a little bit faster, get a few more reps in. Just a different hard. If you go slow, you have more time under tension, which is building some good muscle endurance. If you go faster, you get more reps, so we'll get your heart rate up a little higher. A little bit different training style, but both effective. Ooh, burn. <sighs> I'm in my shower today, sweating. Whew, <laughs> hang in, hang in, almost done. <sighs> done, done, done. Ugh. Jeez. <laughs> Push up down dog. Based on how the last set was, you can decide if you need a harder variation, easier, easier variation. Stay the same, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, go. Push up. Down dog, enjoy that down dog stretch. <laughs> Keeps us from having to do extra push ups. <laughs> Halfway.
We have 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Reverse lunge, shoulder raise. I got my fit shirt on, I have to live up to my shirt. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> uh, whoo, reverse lunge, shoulder raise, get set up, start nice and tall, palms face forward. Here we go, step it back. All right, so the reason palms face forward is that gets your shoulders in a little bit of external rotation. So the chest is a little bit open, the shoulders aren't rolling forward because we are rolling forward all day when we're on computers and cooking and we even read, you know, anything, everything's in the front. So we get plenty of that. So this helps to correct the posture and strengthen the other muscles. Legs are sore today. <laughs> I feel like I did that much yesterday, but there it is. Almost done. Yeah, there's your beat. Agility is next. Two more intervals. Can we take a break? And go to the floor, walk around, catch your breath. Get ready for fast feet. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, fast feet. Go, go, go. Tight abs. Go forward. Go right. Go forward. Go back. Go left, go right, go left, go back, tight abs, tight abs, fast feet, go left, go forward right away, go right right away. Go left, go back right away, go left again, ah, done. No. That moved for a while, huh? No. You said go left again, I'm like, no. No, <laughs> you're like, no, nah, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> done with that. You can see my timer, grab one lightweight. <sighs> I have to say, hold on. Five seconds. Get set up for balance. Here we go. <sighs> Lift up, pass the weight. I sort of love, love, love doing these balance moves after cardio <laughs> because it's kind of the true test and takes it to the next level. So like balance work is important. And if it's hard to do it all, then don't do it right after cardio, right? But we've been doing it for a while. Makes everything a little harder when your heart rate is up, You're trying to catch up on your oxygen here. But this one too, you can focus and start to control your breathing a little bit. I don't know what I did yesterday, but my legs. <laughs> I had like the laziest weekend. All I did was walk. Um, had a what I thought was a mellow workout yesterday, but tight rest done with the quickie circuit those uh, right. back moves make me realize how much i need a massage <laughs> that is actually literally on my list of things to do <laughs> yeah for real 
It's like run errands, get massage, <laughs> run errands. <sighs> All right, we're going to the floor. No equipment needed. We will be on hands and knees to start. So you can start making your way down. We're going to do mobility first, then a back exercise, then our Pilates sequence where we're building some wicked strong abs. Like that. Okay. Okay, the mobility is up dog into child's pose. Uh, One of my favorites. Favorite. Yes, yeah. fan uh, favorite. Nice. Seriously, it's my favorite thing ever. In my game today, I did like a, a challenge where you had to, each player has to pick a challenge to give to somebody else. And I gave somebody this. So I was like, oh, they're going to be so pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't like 25 push-ups or anything like that. I was like, do this with a little video and they're all gonna be like, yay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, one minute. So get nice and squared up first and then walk your hands forward about six more inches and then you sink your hips, lift through the top of the head there and then brace your abs a little bit, wave back into child's pose. And then come up through the middle of your back into like a cat and then Articulate back into that upward dog, still lifting there. At the end, we will sit into a child's pose. The calm before the storm, that's what this is. Just make sure your abs are a little bit braced when you come out of the up dog. Otherwise, it's going to be all shoulders and back. A little opportunity to strain there. So pull your belly button in. And that just supports everything from the front. Ten seconds left. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and rest in a child's pose. Take about three deep breaths while you're down there and I see what comes next. <clears throat> For the next one, we're doing a back extension. So you are going to lay all the way down on your stomach. Your arms are gonna be out in airplane position, which means out at a T and your palms are going to either face down or forward, thumbs up again. So again, you can feel if you change between those, those positions and you flip your palms, you can feel your shoulders rotate forward, rotate back. So we really want to get the back extension here. All right, so what you're going to do is you'll your face down, you lift everything up, count to three, and then lower it down with control. You don't flop. You lift and lower with control for one minute. Three count, hold at the top. Three, two, one, lift up. Count to three, two, one. Lower down with control, do it again. Now, when you're up here, squeeze those glutes, pull your shoulder blades together. Neck is in line with your spine, so you're not looking completely forward. You, your face would be facing a little bit of an angle, unless you, I shouldn't say that, because if you've got like wickedly good back extension, I have dancer clients who can really raise up high, so then they are looking forward. But what I'm, getting at is your neck should be a natural extension of your spine. So 20 seconds left. I am feeling everything today. Lifted and long, flexing those glutes. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one rest. All right, flipping it for the Pilates sequence. This cycle 
has been good as far as sticking to the time too. I usually try to pack too much in and can't stick to the 45 minutes. So that's another, finally nailed it. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna do, in honor of it being the last week, a little bit longer on the ab move. So we did 35 seconds for like the last two weeks. So we're just gonna do 40 seconds, but you know, that extra five on some of those moves is a lot. 25 second rest, one time each move. First one is 100 prep. So you're here, knees at tabletop, arms overhead, exhale, curl up, straighten the legs. And remember the lower those legs go, the harder it gets. As soon as I did that to demonstrate my abs started to shake. <laughs> All right, get into position, legs up, three, two, one, here we go. Exhale into that position. Pull your ab muscles in the front, down flat toward your spine. Twelve seconds, of course. Almost done. Three, two, and one. Rest, set your legs down one at a time. The next one is single leg stretch. So you grab one knee, lift your head and shoulders, pulse two times, scissors and switch. Trying to keep your head and shoulders up the whole time. They're either up the whole time or down the whole time. You can switch halfway if you start to get tired or you feel it in your neck. Five, four, three, curl up, grab one leg. Here's your beep. Extend, pulse twice, scissors and switch. Now, if you need to, you can pull on that knee to give you a little help. But a challenge is to just touch that knee that's coming towards you. Don't pull on it. No, it's all abs. It's crazy that you still say 12 seconds even when you add time on. <laughs> I know. I swear, I have like a 12 seconds left internal timer in my body. Three, two, and one. Nice and easy out. Woo! God, everything's burning today. All right, next one is double leg stretch. Knees up, arms reach outside the legs. You curl up. You open arms and legs into a V. Close it. The lower the legs go, the harder this will be. Head and shoulders either are up and stay up or down and stay down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Open up. Close it. Now, it's debatable where you exhale during this move. So exhale during the hardest part for you. It might be in the reach. When I learned it, they cued us to inhale as we extended, but I feel like that's a lot of the hard part. <laughs> nice and easy out. Whoo, a single straight leg. This is where you scissors the legs. One is up toward the ceiling. The other is six inches off the floor. You get to hold that top leg. Pulse twice, scissors and switch. Head and shoulders are up and stay up. Eight seconds left. <clears throat> All right, get those legs up. Extend them toward the ceiling. Grab one leg. Here's your beep. Curl up. Drop one leg six inches off the floor. Now, if you flex your ankles, more leg muscles get engaged. You don't have to flex, but you can try it. And then that leg that's lowering toward the floor, Reach away from your body through that leg, like through the heel. So that leg is really long. That opens up the hip flexors a bit. Puts more work in the abs, less in the hips. Almost done. Nice and easy out. It can be awkward to get out of some of those. Try to resist flopping out of it. Just finish the rep that you're on. 
so that you can come out carefully. <clears throat> Don't need any random strains. All right, double straight leg. This is the one where if you need a little help, you tuck your hands under your butt, both legs up toward the ceiling, turned outward like a plie. You're gonna lower both legs to the floor and then zip them back up. There's your beat. Head stays down on this one. Lower it as far as you can. Exhale it back up, trying to pin your back to the floor. You gotta use your abs to keep the back down. If you focus on pulling your belly button in toward your spine, that keeps those muscles flexing. They want, that muscle wants to pop up toward the ceiling. Try not to do that. You're almost done. There's your beep. Oh. Bicycle abs crisscross one more exercise and then you stretch. Woohoo. 30 seconds doesn't seem terrible. I mean, it's definitely hard, but I feel like I'm not noticing that extra five seconds as much as I thought. All right, hands behind your head, legs at tabletop. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, I can't get my timer on. Slow and controlled. The twist is the important part. Twist that shoulder blade off the floor. Support your head with your hands. Don't pull with the arms, but just so you don't feel strain in your neck. You're halfway. Almost done, eight seconds. Three, two, and one, and rest. Ooh, that's oh. the one. That's the one? That's the one that makes me nauseous. Oh no, it's oh. twisting. Yeah. If you think about like wringing water out of a washcloth and you twist it, so it's like if you got food in your stomach or just, I mean, if you're just prone to that anyway, it, it, it's a little bit of what's going on there. <sighs> okay, now I want you to cross your right leg over your left, like you're sitting politely, and then drop both legs to the right. So using the right leg to pull the legs down, try to keep the shoulder blades on the floor. Your legs won't necessarily touch because this is a little bit of a different twist, but you'll feel the left side of your body opening up. Now take your left arm, reach it up overhead. So bring your bicep next to your ear, reach that long, and then that stretch moves up the chain. Yep. Timer's still going. Bring that left arm back down, bring the legs back to the middle, switch which leg is on top, and then drop both legs to the left. Get set there, sink into it, feel it for a few counts. and then sweep your right arm up next to your head. And bring that right arm back down and bring both legs back to the center. I want you to go ahead and roll onto your side, push yourself up into a seated position. <laughs> And then open your legs wide and flex your ankles, pull your toes back toward your shins. And now lean into the center and think less about getting your chest to the floor and more about pushing your hip bones toward the floor. That's going to tip your pelvis and that will deepen the stretch without worrying about having to lay down. Go as deep as you can where you feel the stretch but not any excruciating pain. Take deep breaths and try to sink a little bit deeper each exhale. Hands are wherever you need them for help. Sometimes I like to push through my hands. <clears throat> what, what are we stretching here? Inner thigh and probably some hamstrings and maybe calf muscles. Ooh, it's the tightest part. Where do you feel it the most? Inner thigh. Yeah. So much inner thigh. <laughs> and I feel like we should probably be, note to self, I should probably be focusing more on this because for some reason my inner thighs are getting tighter and tighter by the day. 
um, more than any other muscle really. And I don't know what's up with that. Same. And I feel like it's the one that's the easiest to hurt because I don't realize it's tight. And then I go to swing my leg over something and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, exactly. I know it's like talking to me once in a while when I do certain things and I'm like, and not exercise, like, like you're saying, I'm like, what, what is happening here? <sighs> All right. Sit comfortably hands behind you, fingertips pointed away, and then push your chest forward and up. Always have this one on the list. Pull your shoulder blades together. Did those push-ups. Put your head wherever it feels most comfortable on your neck. All right, so now push your chest forward anymore. Just sit in this position. And then I want you to keep your hands in place, elbows stay straight, and start to scoot your butt toward your heels. And if that's not enough, you're gonna feel the front of your shoulders stretching. You can do that again, walk your feet away, scoot your butt a little bit closer to your heels and just feel a nice stretch through the front of the shoulders. You're not pushing your chest forward this time. This is all shoulders. And a good way to get out of it is to push through those heels and push your butt back toward your hands. <laughs> so you don't have to strain through the shoulders. Okay, now in this position, I want you to cross your right leg over your left and then walk your left foot closer to your butt. And as you do that, you're gonna feel that nice stretch through your right leg. You can do this one lying on your back, which is how we normally do it, but this is just a different variation. This is one you can do seated in a chair also and just lean forward into your legs. Lots of options on this, such a great stretch. And then relax, come out of that, switch. Left ankle on right knee, start to walk that right foot in closer to you. You can use your arms to kind of push yourself a little bit more upright. And relax there. All right, sit cross-legged here. Sit nice and tall. Bring your left arm up and then tip to the right. And I want you to be nice and lifted and long. So reach long, but take the left side of your rib cage and kind of reach it up toward the ceiling. Bigger stretch on that side. And then up and over, same thing, other side, right arm up, tip to the left, and then take the right side of your rib cage and reach up for the ceiling. So I'm leaning and then all of a sudden I'm more in a C curve without crunching down on the left side. And relax out of that and then we'll finish forward fold in this position. Hands can be on your knees, they can be on the floor. I want you to round your back, bring your forehead toward the floor. You can walk your hands forward too if you want that to be a bit of a bigger reach. and sit yourself up and we're all done for today. Yay, thank you. Thank you so Thanks. much, Laura. You're welcome, I'll see you Thursday. Yes.